The launch of the shuttle Discovery today is a big victory for American space technology, but it is also a victory of the American spirit. Jerry has some thoughts on that angle in his commentary. Jerry. Thanks, Nola. You probably slept better than they did last night, but then again, they had a lot more to think about. At least they had a lot farther to go. And though they weren't worried about traffic or getting lost, they had to be thinking odds. Can it happen again? Will the shuttle reaching for the stars find eternity instead? And speeches about the rebirth of our space program and commitments to new frontiers aside, America this morning was affixed to the tube, holding its breath as if this were the first time it was ever tried, with primarily one thought, at least in the back of everyone's mind. Five, four, three. Oh, there, the rocket's igniting. Look at that fireball. Two, one. Oh, I hope it lifts off. Zero, it's up. It looks steady. It seems to be okay. What's that? It's dropping its boosters. That's okay. It's supposed to do that. And we think of Krista McAuliffe and that terrible moment emblazoned on our minds. And I wonder if they're nervous. Oh, God, let them get up there. And in this world, and particularly in this effort, which is primarily the Super Bowl of technological achievement, the great irony in this wondrous display of computer and machine is that the moment that stops our hearts is not so much the power of the rocket thrust or the miracle of all those scientific formulas, but rather the simple courage of those five human beings who strap themselves into the capsule for life's ultimate Olympic event, where you don't win or lose, you just win or die. That's what we're watching when we watch the launching of any space effort. For you see, it's not that space is the heart of the matter, but rather that space is ultimately a matter of the heart.